I decided to go back to the car boot sales and uh, flea markets and stuff like that and um, this is one of the things which I got today. This is a Vidor or Vidor, I don't know how you pronounce it, radio. I don't know if you can hear me very well because I've got the fan on high and uh, I'm not using my headset microphone because it's decided to stop working I need to resolder it and, but anyway going back to this it's an old radio old battery radio and under this here look at that it's even got the original batteries in it of course they're not working now because you know it's so old as you can see I'm going to open the thing there to get to the batteries also get to the parts inside and these are the two batteries this this big one here which is really weighs us down it's a 90 volt battery and there's this smaller one here which is a one and a half volt i know you can't get these kind of batteries anymore so i'm going to try to either make a power supply or string some batteries together this battery's got a date on it i think it's taking some of the wood with it when i took it out you can see that maybe if I turn it back November 1963 shows how old this thing is so this is the oldest battery I have from 1963 apparently to replace the big 90 volt battery what I've done is got a bunch of PP3s and each one of those is 9 volts so I've strung 10 of them together to give it the 90 volts for the high tension or the anode and for the 1.5 volt battery I've put a cup I put a four D size batteries in parallel and I guess it's time to power this up now and see if anything works there's also a switch here that um, closes when the when this lid is open so it should be on right now I'm just going to connect up the cathode And now the anode. I've heard something out of the speaker. Got a clunk out of the speaker. I've no idea if this is even going to give any output at this stage. Don't know how long it's going to take to warm. Well, I hope it's not bad tubes, or bad valves, whichever word you want to call it. It's got a few capacitors that could be replaced. Just gonna wiggle some of these and see. I'm hearing something in the speaker when I'm gonna do that. Could be a bad connection somewhere. Okay, I've just done some tests on the amplifier and it does seem to be working to some degree. Uh, this is the uh, volume potentiometer here, at the, which I'm trying to zoom in on. Now, I've got, if I put. Um, I've got a tape playing on my um, on my Denon DRS810 right now, and if I hook that up to the volume potentiometer, it's not connecting very well. Excuse me a minute. <laughs> freaking loud but as you can probably hear there's a lot of distortion there so I'm gonna close this video now and then um, welcome any of your suggestions but I've got to go now so until next time goodbye